Hey guys, welcome to Integration Week 5 review. So, as usual, put up some questions for you guys, have a look at it, have a go, and then I'll go through the answers. So, these are the questions we're going to be looking at um, in this particular session. Uh, so, we're going to be covering trapezium rule, uh, area um, above and below the x axis, Simpson's rule, and area between uh, two, two curves. Now, you'd notice that I've left um, question 2 empty here because, um, well, there was actually a big question and I couldn't really fit the picture in here, but so just move down a few, go down the video a bit and you'll see question two later on. Okay, so let's start with question one. All right, guys, so we're going to use, um, in this question, we've been asked to use the trapezium rule to find out um, f of x uh, between 1 and 2.5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label all my ends. So you've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now the formula for um, trapezium rule is you've got B and A, uh, f of x dx is approximately half h y0 plus yn plus 2 of y1 plus y2 all the way to yn minus 1. So we can say that then the approximation of 2.5 to 1 f of x dx is approximately half. Now h is how much these things are increasing by and we can see that it's increasing by 0 0.25 multiplied by y0. Um, y0 is the first term so we got 0 0.3, yn is the last term, so plus 1.1, and then multiplied, sorry, plus 2 times all the other terms in the middle. So we've got 0 0.7, plus 1.65, plus 1.9, plus 2.35, and plus 1.7. So what we end up actually getting is, um, when you put this in the calculator and work it out, you actually get 2.25. Now this is actually an achieved question, guys, uh, with trapezium rule. Um, majority of the time, the people, I mean, this is like, if you think about it, this is a straightforward substitution question. There's nothing else to it. You have a formula, you substitute your values, and actually calculate the answer. That's it. But we still have people making so many mistakes because um, they either they copy the numbers wrong or they enter it wrong in the calculator. So please just keep double checking that you've actually entered all the values correct because that's basically it for this um, trapezium rule. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. Okay, yeah. so question two. Um, there's a reason why I didn't actually put it up in the front there, because it was this type of big, big question here. But um, what we know is this: the graph of function is uh, below is symmetrical about the y-axis. So along the y-axis, uh, the graph is symmetrical. So the area of the shaded regions are given. Okay, we got 0 0.9, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1. Now it says find between 2.5 and negative 2.5. So uh, if we think about it, if it's symmetrical, because this area is 0 0.3 looking at this area is 0 0.3, we can also say that this area would be 0 .0 0.3. And as for the numerator, I mean not numerator, <laughs> as for the area above the x-axis, this is 0 0.9, which means this is also going to be 0 0.9. Okay, so remember that um, normally if I actually want to do this question with uh, two different ways. The first is I'm looking at actually what happens when we do this. When we are calculating this, we're going to get 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9, which is 1.8, plus the 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, which is 0. Point. If I missed another one, oh, actually, yes, I have. I've actually missed this area here, which is 0 0.1. So everything below the uh, x-axis adds up to 0 0.8, but because it's below the x-axis, 
we actually have that as negative 0 0.8. So in this case, the area will pop up as 1. But the other case that I wanted to show you guys, where the area adds up to 2.6, I mean, that's if you're actually looking at the area between 2.5 to whatever this value is, and because it's absolute value of that. So in other words, what I was trying to say was like, if you break 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if this graph was broken into five separate parts, and if you add them all separately, then it'll add up to 2.8. But because we're looking at this here, because it's from 2.5 to negative 2.5, we have to consider that the area below the x-axis will be measured as negative. And so therefore, when we calculate it, we're going to get 1. Okay, I, if, if that sounded a bit confusing, just pop any questions in the comments. Um, yep, I'll try and get, get to you guys on that one. Okay, let's go to question 3. So with question three, we are looking at uh, Simpson's rule. So, you know, the first thing I'll do is I'll actually just write down the formula. So in this case, uh, between B and A, uh, f of x dx is approximately one third of h. And, you know, this is the one where you actually have um, four, four of the odd ones. And this keeps going to y n minus one plus two times the even one even ends so that's your formula so what i would actually do is once you write the formula is go back so write down all your ends first you've got zero one two three four five and six uh, then as a matter of just substituting your values so you've got one third multiplied by 0 0.5 because that's what it's increasing by multiplied by y0 which is 0 0.8 plus yn which is 1.2 plus 4 times the odd ones which is 1.12 plus 2.17 plus 1.56 plus 2 times the even ones, which is 2.02 plus 2.28. And when we simplify this, we should get 5. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you do the Simpson's rule, folks. As, as I said with trapezium rule, check your working and your substitution. That's where the most common mistakes people make. All right, let's go to the next question. Alright guys, so in this question we've been asked to find the area enclosed between these two graphs. Okay, now let's say you've got no idea what these two graphs look like, but um, the, the good thing is like just actually just drawing it real quickly or even just sketching it. Um, so, what we have here is we have y 3y equals x squared. So, we can actually say y is equal to uh, one third of x squared and y equals to 2x. So the first thing we need to find out is just draw a quick sketch of it. All right, y equals to 2x is roughly going to look like this. y equals to 1 third of x squared, because it's a parabola, it's going to look something like this. So we're looking for the area between the two values, which is that. So to work this out, we need to find out where these where this line and graph actually meet. So because we have y equals 1 third x squared and y equals to 2x, we can put them equal to each other and start rearranging and solving. So we're going to get x squared equals to 6x. And so we can say x squared minus 6x equals to 0. Factorizing this, we have x multiplied by x minus 6 equals to 0. And so we can say that x is equal to 0 or positive 6. So that's where the points are actually intersecting. So we've got at 0 and we've got at 6. Now, when you want to find area between the two curves, what we needed to do was go find, well, first we have the two intervals. So in this case, it's 6 and 0. And then we have the top minus bottom curve dx to work out the actual area. 
so between 6 and 0. The top one in this case is 2x minus, uh, bottom, one, bottom equation is a third x squared, dx. So integrating this, we're going to get 2x squared over 2 minus 1 over 3 x cubed multiplied by the new power, which is 3. And this is all between 6 and 0. So what we have is x squared minus x cubed over 9. That's between 6 and 0. Uh, substituting our values, we've got 6 squared minus 6 cubed over 9 minus 0. And this simplifies to 12. So the area between the two curves is 12. And that's basically it, guys, for this session. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, pop it in the comments below. But apart from that, uh, thank you for watching.